biggest demographic is coming from 100 miles or less. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Close, closer to yeah. Pittsburgh, yeah. And uh, you get about a 40 percentile outside that range. Mm -hmm. But last year we had. Uh, I know there's a map out there where people put their zip codes, oh, cool. so I don't know how many are on it now, but last year I know we had 43 states, uh, three countries outside oh, the U.S., you know, so yeah, actually there's several factors that go into it. The Vlacomp Center here where we hold it is very, is doing game busters, they're very, very successful, and ironically, I guess, the fall and the winter is a very, very busy time for them. They have a lot of big groups in mm -hmm. here, you know. Yeah. And it was getting harder to find good January dates that we liked. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had been talking for a couple of years about doing that, about uh, changing that. And uh, so we decided just to go ahead and make the move now. Schools do some. I would, uh, uh, homeschoolers come here a lot. We have a That's big uh, yeah. group of homeschoolers that come here. The schools do, do a, a lot. It's, uh, my wife's a school teacher, so I know to go through all the paperwork and everything mm -hmm. you have to do to plan a field trip is a big deal. Uh, but we did, we actually had Sevier County High School came here and did a little mock old trial, you know. Cool. So, so we get some response from the schools and from homeschoolers both. Because everything is free, mm -hmm. totally free event. We feel that the most fair way is to give the folks that come out here the first crack at it, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah. Uh, but no, everything, uh, matter of fact, the vast majority of our programs, uh, don't require any pre-registration at yeah. all. You can just show, show up, up whenever you want to yeah. and go to the room and take in the program. There are some that are limited in numbers, but they're mm -hmm. they're generally speaking more like hands-on instructional type programs. Yeah. And the, the generally the instructor or teacher has limited to a certain amount of, you do have to pre-register for them. Yeah. And this year we started really a new policy where you have to pre-register for it on the day of. Mm -hmm. We used to allow uh, people to register for them on the first day of operation. They could sign up for anything mm -hmm. that was that during the week, but a lot of times people would sign up for stuff and then not show up, so we feel that's a more fair way to yeah. do it. But they do, they have to come here on site for the hikes, for the pre-registered programs and everything. They have to come here to the Lecoq Center to do that. Yes, they do. Okay. It, it is primarily funded by the city of Pigeon Forge and if you'll look in the uh, we have all of our sponsors mm -hmm. listed most of those are and we get sponsorship funding as well okay. but uh, the budget to do this uh, 85 to 90 percent of it comes from the city of Pigeon Forge. Wow. Tourism is all we have in Pigeon Forge exactly. so we're all about that you know absolutely yeah uh, but we have some great sponsors Tennessee State Bank is our oldest sponsor mm -hmm. they've been there like forever yeah. from almost day one they're they're great to us and we have some other other great sponsors too and they sponsor at different levels